So we're going to be doing a bit of an unboxing. Um, the um, what's it called the Razer uh, capture card I got did some good views, and so you know we're going to do an unboxing and hopefully actually do a review of the Taltronic. Now they've got um, different names for this. One's called Sound Liberty, and one's called Sound Like Sonic Eight Five or something like that. So Taltronic, have a word with your marketing team, honestly. So just following on from what I was talking about during the review, I've had like I've tested these out for about five minutes, um, or not five minutes, about last thirty minutes. I'm not very impressed. Um, I'll do like a full review in like probably by the end of next week. So what day is today? Sunday. Um, you probably see it by Friday, hopefully, as long as everything goes well. Um, th this is what I mean about Taltronics marketing being awful, right? So look, what, what, what's the name of these? Active noise cancelling headphones, Taltronic Bluetooth headphones, 2020 upgraded, Type C over ear wireless headphones, 40 hours playtime, uh, fast charging. But is it, I mean, this is all to get an SEO, but it, the search um, engine, uh, really. And, uh, you know, 30, 40 pounds, five pound off voucher, not worth it. And when I do a full review, I'll tell you why. Um, extremely disappointed. I don't understand how it's got such high Amazon reviews. Um, I think they've done something dodgy to get these, but, um, you know, I can't, I can't really uh, tell you. I know my friend bought some Tartronic products. He told me today um, he wasn't very impressed by them. And to be fair, um, I'm not the ANC. There's a really bad hiss. Um, sounds like static, something that Jim's, I think his name is Jim's room. Uh, he talked about it and um, it's just awful because like, even here, like it says, new Taltronic Sound Surge 85 ANC headphones, right? But then it says model Sound Liberty 85. So is it the Sound Surge 85 or is it the Sound Liberty 85? Same problem here. Sound Surge 90 or Sound Liberty 90. Sound Liberty 92. So they've got it here, but not here. It doesn't make sense. So um, I'll do a full review sometime this week and um, yeah, I'm just not impressed. I would, I would 100% avoid these, um, honestly, I would 100%, you can, for £35, you could probably get better Bluetooth headphones, so um, with that, um, this that's my unboxing kind of thing over, so hopefully I'll see you uh, next time. It's uh, it's really bad, I mean, this, this if I saw this in Tesco's at that price, I would not buy these, so Teltronic, if you actually watch this video, sort your marketing out, honestly, it's, it's shambolic, it is, it is worse than letting the intern kid do your marketing. And market is important. These are, might be Amazon Choice, but the box looks very basic. It hasn't even got the name of the product on. It says here, active noise cancelling wireless stereo headphones. Do you know how many of these there are on the market, Tartronic? So what we'll do is um, we'll do an unboxing, and then I'll do a review in like a few days, maybe uh, a week. So I'll just put some put some normal music on that. I normally listen to some star set. Um, there's a guy called Margin Blue. He's done some uh, really good work. So I use a lot of his uh, music in my video. So um, what I'm going to do is I'll probably just, um, I might put some of his music on the background of this video, to be honest, because he's saying I can I can use his music as long as I give credit and you know much respect, much respect to the man. Um, so yeah, I've seen like a few people review this. I think some guy called James Room, he's got like almost a million subscribers, which is which is impressive. Um, he reviewed it. He said he wasn't he wasn't mega impressed. Um, so you might ask why I bought these. I just needed headphones and I didn't want to spend you know, um, you know, a hundred pounds on them. So you know, you got a little plastic, uh, plastic. I wish I had the overhead camera to be honest. Uh, maybe if I hold these a bit higher. I've got the squeakiest chair on the planet. My younger brother's chair is worse than mine. Um, so we've got this. You can see here, nice, oh, nice little bag. So. We've got like some paper here, a read me, so I'll read that in a minute. So why I bought these is because my old headphones broke, the um, Skull Candy Crusher headphones. So we've got a nice, nice bag. I quite like this actually, but I think it'll it'll get dusty really quickly. Never really used the old headphone bag either, but they were even worse. They're quite lower quality than this, and the headphones are about £100, so, you know. So here we've got some uh, cables, we've got like standard 3.5mm jack. Should be a Type C cable, which is nice. Um, let's have a look to see if these the Razer cables um, that came in the box were really high quality, but I don't think these will be anywhere near as good. But then again, the Razer capture card was like d uh, more than double the price of this. So here we've got a standard Type C cable, USB A to Type C, which is which is okay. Quite long though, so you know we'll see what the voltage is like. Um, might be a decent spare option for my phone. Um, we've got standard 3.5 mil audio jack. Got an L-shaped one um, here, so you can plug. That's probably easier to plug into your phone. And you got the standard um, long one there, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, we'll actually pull out the main. Oh, there's some more stuff in there. Jesus, um, more paper. Oh, 
Oh, that smells terrible. Don't know what you did in your factory, Tartronic. Um, so you've got the actual uh, headphones here. Feel really slippery. Some one more thing. Oh my god, the bag smells horrible. I don't know what the hell they put in here. It's got one of them packets you find in shoes. I think I think it might be this. This might cause the smell. Oh, it smells like re really strong medicine. I might have to put this bag in the wash. If I'm uh, uh, that's that's horrible. So off putting. Um, let's see initial impressions. So, so these are the headphones here. Um, I don't really have a wide angle. I'm using my phone, so it's not really the best. Um, it's got a bit of spin action. Um, feels quite strong. Um, so I've got a big head. So um, I think the brace must be up here. Yeah. So I'll probably have to put these up. I saw one guy. I think Jim's room and some other guy watched like proper stretch these out, and I'm like, are you mad? Um, put these on. They feel fine. Um, yeah, it's not it's like when I had the when I first bought the Skull Crusher headphones. Um, the the crushes the proper clamp down on your head, and it hurts. Oh, it doesn't hurt, but it's very uncomfortable at first. And then, um, obviously, as time was on, the um the the force kind of breaks down a bit. Um, but yeah, these feel nice. Um, yeah, let's see if I power these on. The um the power on power off thing just sounds really bad. It sounds like they recorded the, the ones from Skull Candy. I don't know if you can. I don't think you'd be able to hear that. But yeah, it's got active uh, noise cancellation, so you can turn. Um, so if you flip that up, you get noise cancelling. That turns off noise cancelling, so that will lower the battery. So um, yeah, I think that'll do. We've seen unboxing. We've got the um the headphones here. They look fine. I mean, I'd wear these. A bit skinny though. A bit. I, I prefer if it's a bit thicker. Um, just for aesthetics, I think they look very thin. Um, but on my head, I think. If I got caught out in the ends with these, um, I don't think anyone would actually know what they are. Um, I think it's a uh, two T's on the side, for no, it's not two T's. I don't know what that is. But um, yeah, I think they feel fine so far. I mean, I paid forty. I'd have to check the price. Um, I'll put that in post. Um, put it in post. So I'll put that in post. But yeah, we've got some papers here. Um, standard stuff. Um, package contents. Um, we'll, we'll see what this says. Read me. I think it's some sort of discount thing for Amazon if you give it a review. So, yeah, it says here um, £10 gift card. You do sign into your Amazon account and find um, Taltronics wireless earbuds purchased. Um, your order, write a product review, so overall rating. So, they're trying to get in your head there by putting the, the old five stars in there, um, which I don't blame them for, to be honest. Uh, add a headline. <laughs> so, they put great. Great product, highly recommend. That's a bit embarrassing. And then email them a screenshot, and then they'll send you the gift card within three business days. I don't think I'll do that. I think ethically is a bit off for me to do that because um they might try and bribe me if I don't actually like the headphones and write a bad review. Um, but yeah, you know, I what I'll do is I'm gonna leave them boxing. So let's let's have a look at what we have, and then I'll do a bit on um OBS and talk about how badly they've marketed this. And honestly, the box, which literally just says active noise cancellation that that's bad that's bad like that is awful marketing um we've got the bag that looks fine it smells horrible we've got thank you thing for choosing Taltronics. they got anything in here it's a qr code so i might put that into my phone later and see what comes up um we've got product support 18 month warranty extension it says activate your um privilege service so register the product you get 18 months extension and um, lots of stuff there, if you can see that. So if you want to pause the screen there, if you want to see what writing is that, is that in focus? Who knows? So they've got um, three different numbers here, US, Japan, and DE. So I don't know what DE is. Um, plus it's got a call code I've never seen before. So we'll keep those somewhere. Um, so what have we got? Cables. Some other cables. And uh, I think that'll wrap it up, you know. Um, I don't think there's much more to say. Apart from whatever the hell you've put in that bag is is horrible smell. It's so bad. And um, oh, never smell. The, the one, when I opened up the um, Skullcandy Crusher, there was no smell coming out that bag. 
this bag is foul. Really strong medicine. I think it must be strong chemicals. Maybe maybe they they but hardcore sanitize them because of the obviously the pandemic. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, you know, this has been an unboxing of the Taltronic Sound Liberty 85 or something like. They, they don't even have a name on their product. Like that's basic marketing. Like what you do is get get rid of the intern that's done this. Get someone who actually knows how to do marketing, and get them to do your stuff because it is honestly honestly Taltronic. Anyways, this video has gone on long enough. Um, I'll do a review probably sometime next week and um, yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.